Unfortunately, there's a lot of people's pets are gone and wandering around, so we're trying to gather them up as much as we can here, give them some food and water until uh, I guess they have the uh, SPCA and a lot of dog foundations and animal shelters coming to pick them up. Try and hoard them over here where the dog food is. Come on. Try and keep them alive until they get here. Well, they're shooting them three blocks down. Are they? Well, yeah. that's not us. Kill that dog, man. This place has gone crazy. They followed us all the way up and then they shot him. Same dog. Oh, I just shot that one too. Reach us out the window. Just roll it down. <gasps> he's still alive. Roll it down. Roll I can't it down. do it, David. He's still alive. Roll it down. Stop. Roll that window down. Really, it's better for that dog, really. Because, you know, where's he going to find food? Where's he going to find water? You know, so I just look at it, it's, it's more humane. We're doing it to protect ourselves, but it's more humane for the dog, you know. <laughs> they tried to eat us. Four days into it, he almost got eaten up by a pit bull. Hey! Hey, Tom! What? Tom! Tom. So how many dogs? Enough. It must be a tough job. Huh? It must be a tough job. This job? No, I've been doing this job for 20 years. I mean, shooting dogs. Yeah. There's numerous dogs running around here. Basset hounds, little small beagles, uh, poodles. And when you drive up to them, they kind of run up to you thinking maybe you, I hope, I'm beginning to think maybe they think you, their owner. Everybody forgets about them. They don't really remember, you know, that the dogs need help too. They didn't really have a choice on you know, getting out, they stayed with their owners and everything, so everybody kind of forgets about them, but they need help too.